Hey everybody, I'm James Scarlett, and today we're going to be talking about our aluminum upcutting chop saw. This saw today is paired with a Tiger Stop automatic positioning system that can cut either as a pusher or as a stop. We can customize this to all kinds of different lengths, anywhere from as small as 6 feet all the way up to 30 feet long and longer for custom sizes. Uh, today we're going to talk about some different features on this saw. Uh, this saw has a manual hood and automatic clamping, two button push for safety, an adjustment feature to determine the speed of the blade, how fast it cuts through the material. This saw is capable of cutting full billet aluminum or different profile extrusions, C channels, I beams almost anything aluminum that, that you can put in this envelope uh, this machine can cut. Uh, so we're going to start off with just a real simple um, straight up cut cut. The operation is very simple. The horizontal clamps can be toggled on and off right here. And the misting unit can be toggled on and off right here. Turn the clamps on. Clamps off. And we have a nice 90 degree cut. Also comes with a nice blow-off wand for cleaning off your saw. And now we'll show you how easy it is to move to a 45 degree angle cut. Simply pull the lever, rotate the saw head till you hit the 45 degree mark. Over here you can choose the length that you want to cut. We're going to put in 40 inches. Start. Moves it into position, clamp it back down, two palms, a nice beautiful 45 degree cut. We'll move this back into a 90 degree cut and show you how this saw can be used for pack cutting. Another great feature about this saw is its ability to pack cut. So in this case, we've got three separate profiles. And what we're doing here is we're ganging them all together in one large pack. So in this scenario, we go over to the positioning system and we enter in the dimension that we want. Pushes the entire bunk in. 
activate the clamps, and cycle the saw. And then we can just continue that motion throughout an entire group of uh, extrusions to get the right lengths that we need. One of the great features about this saw is its safety. Uh, I'm sure you've seen in many shops where the guys are hanging on to the extrusion in one hand and using a chop saw in the other hand. Uh, this allows both hands to be free. It has a cover over it, clamps that hold it down, and really keeps the operator's hands away from the, the saw blade itself and any potential loose uh, parts that will fly out of it. So there's a lot of safety benefits to using a saw like this. And I think you'd be surprised that the price is not that much more than uh, your typical um, sawing application. You know, I, I probably think one of the biggest things about this is that it's the saw itself is built really, really well. And so you have just this very true uh, blade actuation. So when you're cutting on something else, you get a lot of blade deflection and the, the entire sawing carriage has a tendency to move, but this is a really stout industrial machine. So when it makes a cut, it's, I mean, the, the you can just see, like when you look at the, the cut quality on the edge, it's, it's a true saw. So you're getting uh, tolerance accuracies, you're getting positional accuracies, um, you're getting just cut quality out of it. Um, so like even just recently, the, the guys installing the, um, the doors in our office, I mean, they, they were out there cutting aluminum extrusions and they were using a handsaw and they were cutting over and over again because the, uh, either the blade was deflecting or they had some kind of issue. So finally I was just like, hey dude, you should probably just use a saw that you have in the back. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's a lot to be said about the, the accuracy of the position because the entire, entire blade housing is moving when we change the angle. So that entire stroke is really just pivoting on an axis underneath it and uh, making that angled cut. So whatever angle you decide you want, you can trust that that's, that's the angle that it's going to be at. Uh, another safety piece that's important is that it's got a interlock system here, so it will not cut with this hood up. It has to be down, that way nothing's flying up at the operator. Uh, and you can't accidentally cycle the saw while the hood is up in the air like this. Um, you can control the, the speed at which the blade moves up and down. So if you have a big, thick uh, billet piece of aluminum, you want to slow that stroke down. Uh, simply turn this knob and that will, that will change the, the actuator speed. Yeah, we are running the lubricant right now. I, I mean, anytime you're cutting aluminum, I would highly suggest that you run the lubricant because it makes a, the, the cut that much cooler. Uh, really preserves the life of the blade. So uh, I haven't heard any statistics as far as how long uh, someone can get, how many cuts they can get out of one blade, but we also sell blades and I know that we don't sell a lot of them, so that must mean that they last for a very long time. Um, and this is a 16 and a half inch blade, and so the, the cutting capacity on this varies because obviously it's a, it's a radius, it's an arc, so as you move the piece up and down and back and forth, that changes where that rectangle falls inside of that, inside of that arc. Uh, pretty simple controls on it too. That's that's important. As a technician, I care a lot about being able to go out and source the, um, the electronics in it. Schneider Electrics. Um, so you can go to your local uh, McMaster car or local electrical store and get a, a spare part if you ever blow a fuse or something like that. Uh, the lubricant is kept down here, which is kind of cool. So this is the cutting lubricant and uh, stays in that jug right there and just sits in the front of the saw. We use Unist. We think they do the best job with uh, cutting tool lubricants. Yeah, that's it. Sweet saw. If you have any more questions about this saw, uh, please reach out because we carry this saw in a lot of different models. So while this might not be the perfect size and, and uh, capacity for what you're cutting, we offer them in larger saws, double miter saws, 
Uh, we offer aluminum milling machines as well. So all of your aluminum extrusion needs, we can help you out with that. Uh, if this isn't the perfect saw and the perfect application for what you're trying to do, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we have a video for pretty much all of the different saws that we have available. And there might be some custom options that we have as well. But uh, check our channel and you should be able to find some, some other videos that might fit your needs better. So uh, thanks for watching today.